Hello Space Engineers and welcome back to Last Stand Gamers. Today we've got an explosive episode in store as we dive into the world of missile turrets. We'll be exploring the vanilla missile turret, the formidable torpedo turret and the rapid fire hailstorm rocket turret. So buckle up and set them rocket switches to fire because we're going to have one hell of an explosive episode. Today we're kicking things off with the workhorse of the Space Engineers universe, the vanilla missile turret. Its simplicity meets reliability in this iconic turret that's been a staple of every space engineer's arsenal from the very beginning. I remember times when this missile turret was in the game without any missile function. So join me as we take a closer look at what makes this vanilla missile turret a cornerstone of defensive strategies and an essential component in most well-rounded ship designs. As we engage the missile turret, you can witness it in action. Locked onto a target, the turret fires a barrage of six missiles. Now these missiles have no homing capability as most of you are probably aware of. So if a target is moving too fast or erratically, the missile will miss. This makes it though ideal choice for engaging both large ships and ships of a static nature. So it is a versatile weapon that can deal some serious damage as long as the ship isn't too small or isn't moving erratically. Now you're probably asking what makes the vanilla missile turret stand out? Well I could bore you by saying it's simple and reliable but the truth is nothing really makes it stand out. It requires ammo management with the quite intense resource heavy ammunition and on top of that it can't hit a lot of targets. So yes, the missile launcher is an outdated piece of tech in my mind, but I still put them on my ship as they can provide a good bit of firepower in certain situations. And if they do land a shot at close range, they can deal a fair amount of damage. Now, as sad as it is to say, the missile launcher has fallen out of popularity with many players in the community. It's not used as much. And the main reason for this is it's slow at velocity. By the time you've fired the missile and it's got anywhere past 300 meters, the target is usually moved and gone. It's not too bad at a close range, but the amount of times that you end up in a close range brawl against something are limited, especially when you have artillery turrets and large high velocity cannons on the table that do greater damage. So the missile launcher turret isn't as popular and, and it's sad because it's kind of the end of the tech tree for the missile launcher. But let's pretend the tech tree didn't end there for the missile launcher and we're going to be taking a look at two missile launcher mods that might bring some life back to it. Now let's shift our focus to the torpedo turret, another option when it comes to heavy artillery for a space engineer's universe. When you need to make a statement and leave a lasting impact, this is the turret you can call upon. It's not just a weapon, it's a force to be reckoned with. Let's explore the raw power and strategic significance of the torpedo turret. As we engage the torpedo turret, you can immediately notice the difference in scale. The missiles it launches are larger and pack a more substantial payload. This makes the torpedo turret an ideal choice when you're faced with a formidable adversary, like a capital ship or a large structure that demands a heavy handed response. The torpedo turret lives up to its name, delivering colossal explosions that can cripple even the most massive of ships. This makes it a strategic choice for calculated strikes where precision and overwhelming force are essential. However, the potency of the torpedo comes with some considerations. While the torpedo turret is unmatched in its destructive capabilities, it comes with a slower fire rate compared to other missile turrets. This means that each shot needs to be well timed and strategic. Additionally, the increased ammo consumption requires careful resource management, especially in prolonged engagements. Combine this with an additional longer reload time, each shot needs to be made to count. Now what I will say is the torpedo turret is not your everyday weapon. It's a trump card in your arsenal to be used when the situation demands a show of force, when engaging a high value target, or when you need to break through a heavily armored defense. The torpedo turret is the answer. Just be sure to plan your shots, manage your ammunition, and watch as your adversaries face the full might of its heavy hitting turret. Now, after playing around with the torpedo turret for quite some time, it's a really nice addition and it fits in with your vanilla arsenal really well. It's well balanced in regards to its rate of fire and its reload speed uh, to compared to its sort of damage output. So you're not getting something that's drastically overpowered. And it would fit into the scenarios with most servers or most players who want to play with their friends and not have some big overpowered weapon added to their mod pack. 
Saving the best for last, we now turn our attention to the Hailstorm Rocket Turret, a symphony of destruction, a relentless storm of rockets that leaves nothing but chaos in its wake. This turret is engineered for one purpose, unleashing madness upon your foes. Let's take a closer look at it and see what makes the Hailstorm Rocket Turret stand out. As we engage the Hailstorm Rocket Turret, you can witness its unique charm. What sets this turret apart is its rapid fire capability. It's like having a storm of rockets, creating an overwhelming barrage that is ideal for close quarter engagements and dealing with smaller, agile drone threats. The sheer volume of rockets fired by the hailstorm is a spectacle in itself. It's not just about hitting your target, it's about saturating the area with explosive power, making it a fantastic addition to your ship's arsenal when faced with numerous fast moving adversaries. However, every weapon has its limitations. The Hailstorm Rocket Turret has a shorter effective range. So I'm not saying a shorter overall range, effectively it's better at close range because of the damage of each projectile being less than normal missile launcher. This means it's most effective in close quarters combat where its rapid fire capability can shine. Additionally, its increased rate of fire comes at the cost of a higher ammo consumption, so ensure your ammo stores are well stocked before driving into any fray. Strategically, the Hailstorm Rocket Turret is your go-to choice for situations where overwhelming firepower is needed, particularly in scenarios with numerous smaller threats needing to be neutralized swiftly. Whether you're defending your base from a drone attacks or engaging in intense ship-to-ship -ship combat, the Hellstorm is there to create a storm of destruction that few foes can withstand. Now playing with these modded weapons today got me thinking, wouldn't it be amazing to have some sort of tech tree within Space Engineers for the weapons? As of currently, we have all the weapons available to us unless you turn progression on, but progression in Space Engineers is an utter waste of time. Let me know if you agree with that in the comment section below. But the progression really doesn't do anything. It's designed to help new players play the game by building blocks, but I think that's a whole total of the video. But progression in the weapon systems would be nice to see variants of ammunition types, variants of turrets. So like in this case, we've got a heavy missile turret, we've got a rapid fire missile turret, and we've got a vanilla. Seeing something like this probably wouldn't take too much effort from the developers to change up, but would add a lot more diversity to engagements and battles. Depending on the server rules, then ships would be, you know, at the mercy of what their captain has kind of equipped them with. Have they decided to go with a high rate of fire missile launches combined with high rate of fire Gatling guns at a cost of damage. So there's, there's a lot more factors that could come into building a ship with weapons if you had some sort of tech and progression. How they would do research to unlock additional ammo types and weapons, well, I, I don't have that talking off the top of my head, but I'm sure there could be nice ideas to it. If you guys have seen any amazing weapon mods that do fit into the vanilla characteristic, let me know as well in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out when I post more exciting Space Engineers content. Anyway, for now, I will see you next time.